Thank you both for coming in to talk with me today. David is having some serious problems in school. He's underperforming. Uh, he's falling behind in his grades. He's been a C student since day one. Um, well, um, he's really, really great in art. I mean, he loves it. Yeah. We all know that art doesn't pay the bill. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we will do whatever we can. David is distracted. He's unfocused. He doesn't appear to want to be here. Let's be clear. You know your son is not that bright. We're conditioned to believe that the way we perform at school is the way we'll perform at life. We're conditioned to believe that what's valued and important at school is what we should value and find important in life. The truth is, no one's opinion can define our future. The truth is, no teacher's thought or assessment of you is final. We are not defined by our grades. We are so much more than a grade on a sheet of paper for one subject. Our mental health is more important than our grades. Our physical health is more important than our grades. It's not that our grades aren't important. It's just that they're not everything. The truth is we all have strengths and weaknesses. There will be some subjects that you perform extremely well on and others that you struggle with. Follow your intuition, follow your heart, follow your passion, follow where that natural momentum comes to you. Because when school measures our success based on grades and results, that's what disappoints us in life. Because life is so much not about the result. It's so not about the destination. And it's so much more about the process. Listen, your grades don't define how smart you are. The number of followers you have on Instagram doesn't define your worth. And people's opinions of you don't define your future. Remember, grades are just one metric. And grades matter when that subject matters to you. Because the interesting thing is that in school, grades are everything. But in life, grades and exams are temporary. But education is permanent.